When someone hack your Facebook account, immediately he will change all your login details including your email, phone number, all other recovery methods. So in this full tutorial, I will show you how to recover your hacked Facebook account without any recovery method. If you follow my step correctly, they will allow you to add new email address as well as you can create a new password like this. So make sure to watch this video to the very end. While recovering your account, if you face any trouble or if you got any error, I will put all the error fix in video and related links in this video description. Here I just try to recover your hacker account just using your default web browser but there are different ways. You can either use your official Facebook application, your Instagram or your messenger application. If you want to check alternative ways to recover your account, you can find those video links on my channel as well as video links are in the below description. Without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Now. You have to open your default web browser. It is better if you can use a browser that you used to log into your Facebook account within last year. Or you can use your default web browser. Like this, I will open my browser, then go to search bar. Now type and search, accessing and downloading your Facebook information. Here you have to select the very first search result. Don't select the second one. It has the same name. You have to select m.facebook.com slash contact. So select the very first search result like this. Then you will get this window. Here you have to answer this question. What best describe your issue? Here you have to select account access troubleshooting. Now you will get another question. How can we help you with your account access issue? Select the first one. My account has been hacked. After that you will get this one. If you think that your account has been hacked, we can secure it by going to the help center. So tap this blue color link to go to Facebook help center. After tapping, you will get this window, hacker and frack account. Under hacker account, you have to select the first one. Recover your account if your Facebook account was hacked or if someone using it without your permission. Basically, you can see two options. The first one is get started button. The second option is visit this page option. In this video, I will show you how to do that thing using the first method. By the way, if the first method didn't work for you or if you can't find out this option, you can use alternative ways. There are multiple ways to recover your hacked Facebook account. You can find all the updated video links in the description. For the first method, tap get start button. Then you will get this page. Here you have to answer all these questions. The first question. If you think that your Facebook account was hacked, we can help you to recover it. Firstly, can you tell us what's happening? Select the first one, someone else gained access to my account. For the second question, so to hear that your account has been hacked, are you able to log into that account? Select, no, I can't log in. Then you will get the third question. Here they ask, do you have access to phone number or email address associated with the account? Select, no, I don't have access to phone number or email address on the account. I don't have access to any of my recovery method. After selecting these three answers, you will get this recovery link www.facebook.com slash login slash identify. After that, you will be redirected to this window. Here select search by email address or full name. Now I will enter my full Facebook name like this. Here before you recover your account, first you have to identify your account. Now you can see there are major three ways to find your account. You can use your old mobile number or you can use your old email address. If there is no any other method, you can use your full Facebook name. Keep in mind, Facebook tracks every moment of your recovery process. If you can answer many questions, they will allow you to recover your account without any interference or without many questions. If you can indicate to Facebook by entering your all login details, all the email address or phone number, they will allow you to recover your account smoothly. So first, try to find your account using your old mobile number. After that, you can use your old email address. If there is no any other method, enter your full Facebook name like this or you can enter your Facebook username if you have. After entering full Facebook name, tap the search button. Then Facebook will list out all the account which have the same name. Most probably you can find your account at the top. But unfortunately, most of account has empty profile pictures as well as you didn't allow to show your profile picture to the public by enabling privacy settings. You can't find your account within this list. So in that case, tap I'm not in this list. Then they ask a secondary question. Here they ask to enter 
one of your friends full name even if they ask to enter your friends full name you can try out your birth month or you can enter your current living city name like this enter any of these answers enter your friends full name if you can't find using your account friends full name you have to enter your birth month even if you can't find out using your birth month and friends full name enter your current city name here i will go with my first option i will enter one of my friends full name on facebook it is a matter that friends old or new friend enter any friends name on your facebook profile after that according to my name as well as according to my friends name they will identify limited accounts here only you can see two three accounts in my case i have only one account so straightly i can select my account within this list like this i will select my account even within this list if you can't find out your account you can select i'm not in this list then you can restart account finding process before you restart it is better if you can enable your location permission if you are using a mobile network you can switch to familiar wi-fi network if you are using wi-fi network you better use your mobile network after you can select your account then you will get this recovery window it has two different parts the first part you can reset your facebook password the second part if you don't have access to any of these password reset method you have to completely recover your account within this box they will allow you to reset your facebook password these are the option to reset in your facebook password as the first option you can reset through your gmail address like this if your primary email address is a gmail account we can recover your gmail account too after that easily we can reset our facebook password but if you can't access your email or phone number or if you can't get any code to your facebook or if you don't remember any of your old password you have to go through the recovery process so you have to tap no longer have access to this button then these are the major three step to recover your hacked facebook account first you have to set your new primary email address after that you have to verify yourself submitting video selfie or submit a copy of your id finally you have to wait until the facebook team reach you i will go back to explain a little bit further the easiest way to reset your password by recovering your gmail account you can recover your gmail account much easier than your facebook account but if you can't reset your password you have to recover it to recover it you need this option called no longer have access to this but some of you doesn't have this option if you don't have this option you can't go forward so this option is not available for you i invite you to watch the error fixing video after watching that tutorial easily you can get back this option here then tap no longer have access to this button at the bottom these are the step to recover your account i explained this thing earlier so i will tap start button at the bottom now you have to set your new primary email address enter a brand new email address which is not connected to any other facebook or any other instagram account if you try to enter an old account facebook doesn't allow you to add any old account as well as this will be your primary email address all other email addresses and phone numbers will be removed from your account then all further instruction and recovery links will be sent to this email address so you have to verify this email address to verify this email address tap get code button at the bottom within this window you have to enter that verification code so go back to your email application since i provide a gmail account i will open my gmail application you can see there is a new email from facebook if you open that email there is a one time security code take a long press then tap the copy button in the pop up window to copy it to the clipboard after that go back to your browser like this i will paste my code take a long press then tap paste in the pop up window now you can see this message then tap the confirm button at the bottom after this will be your new primary email address now's the time to verify yourself here i have only one option i have to submit a copy of my id sometime you might have more than this send a video verification enter an otp code or enter any last password 
From here, you have to select the easiest one. Since I have only one option, I have to submit copy of my ID. I will tap that, then you will get this window. From here, they will allow you to enter your full Facebook name as well as submit a copy of your ID. At the top, enter your full name like this. Then they will allow you to attach your ID copy. When you take your ID copy, you have to keep this thing in your mind. It should not be too blurry, too dark, miss the required information or it should not be a frequent as well as all four corners should be visible. From here, you can see what are the ID types they accept. Here, passport, driving license and all government IDs they accept. If you want to learn more about what are the ID types they accept, you can tap this learn more button. Now, tap choose file to attach your ID copy. Like this, I will attach my ID copy. After filling out this form, then you have to submit this form to Facebook. Now tap the send button at the bottom. After submitting your recovery form, you will get this kind of message. Thanks for submitting your ID to Facebook. As well as they have clearly explained what will happen to your ID copy after reviewing. Normally they will delete your ID copy within next 30 day period. Now you have to go back to your email application. I will open my Gmail application like this. Here, if you refresh it, here you have to get a new email from Facebook. Since I can't find it, I will go to social section. You can see there is a new email from Facebook. If I open that, the topic is track your account recovery status. Like this, I will open like that. Then they mention, thanks for submitting your ID. After we review it, we will send an email with the next step. So if you want to track your account recovery status, you have to tap this blue color button. Then you will be redirected to another window. Within this window, you can see all three stages of the recovery process. The first stage, now we have successfully completed. We have submitted our recovery form. Now it is in review stage. After reviewing, if they could clarify this account really belongs to us, they will send an email like this. Final step to get back on Facebook. So if you open that email, you can see reset password button. As well as they have mentioned to get back on Facebook, we need to reset your password. Please do as soon as possible. Once you reset your password, this email will be expired. So you can't use this password reset link again. So you have to reset at very first time. So tap the reset password button at the bottom. After tapping reset password link, you will be redirected to your web browser or your Facebook application according to your device preference. After that, they allow you to create a new password. Here, make sure to create a strong password or if you want, you can skip this step. I recommend you to create a strong password. Then, if someone has your old password, they will be immediately logged out from their device after resetting or changing your password. After entering new password, tap the next button. Then if you want, you can save your password. After that, you have to select someone else got into my account without my permission. After that, tap the continue button. After you will get this window, here they ask you to start a security check. Then you have to tap get started button. Then Facebook AI will deeply analyze your account and identify what are the recent changes have been made. Like this, it will go through the check-in process. After that, they will list out all the recent changes someone has been made. So you can tap continue and you can undo one by one. If you don't recognize any of these changes, you can select like this, then tap continue. If someone has add a new email address, you can remove that email address. Then you can add your new email address. If you don't want to go through the security check, you can tap the back button. After that, you will be redirected to your new speed easily. This is a one way to recover your hacked Facebook account. If this method didn't work for you, there are different recovery methods to get back your hacked account. So you can find all the alternative video links in the description. As well as if you got any error, like no longer have access to this option is not available. To fix it, click this end screen video and come on over. Later!